Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Richard Plunger from the Puppetum Geek, and today, guys, I'm going to show you how to get LEGO Worlds working on your Mac. Now, unfortunately, at the moment of this video, LEGO Worlds isn't available for the Mac. It's only available through Steam as an early access on the PC. Now, if you have watched previously my Cube World video, you would see this is pretty much exactly the same tutorial, just with a different software. Not many people know about Crossover, uh, which I'm going to be talking about in a minute, and um, how it works exactly. So let's get into this video. I do apologize as well for sounding a bit nasally in this video. I am feeling a bit unwell. I uh, do have a cold, but hopefully you guys will get over it, right? <laughs> uh, so what you want to do first is go over to Crossover. Now, Crossover is, um, you know, a wonderful application made by Code Weavers. Uh, it's basically a software which allows you to download um, you know exe files and run them on your Mac now given that not all exe files will work like battlefield or something like that or maybe who knows um, but most applications will given that your system requires or meets the certain system requirements now what you want to do now is head over to code weavers and download crossover now once you go here you want to download the trial itself it's about 14 days which isn't too bad it'll give you some time to sort of you know get a grip over a crossover to see if you need to purchase it or not now to purchase it it does cost uh, 40 to 60 dollars which is a bit of money to pay for uh, if you ask me but it's a great application I swear by it because you know I have installed many applications um, you know which I needed a PC for and I didn't have at the time and crossover really worked for me um, you can just install nearly everything and they also have um, you know compatible applications as well uh, which Steam is one of them um, so go figure. So once you download that, you want to click download trial and then enter your email address and name and they'll send you a link to download the application. Uh, once you get that link, install that and then open Crossover on your Mac. Now Crossover will automatically let you know if there is a new update and I highly recommend updating Crossover all the time because uh, when I was testing to see if LEGO Worlds first actually worked before uh, making this video, uh, it didn't work and I was like, oh, why is this happening? And then what I did was I head over to Crossover, check for updates and there was an update and I did it. Everything worked seamlessly after that. And what's funny is uh, probably half an hour ago, I installed an update and there's already another update. Uh, so another good version about this is even though it is a paid application, they're always constantly updating it. The support team is also really great as well. Um, they help you with anything if you have any troubles. And they also actually helped me with Cubold as well. And they actually made a separate bottler for that, uh, which helped a lot of people get uh, Cubold working on their Macintosh. Uh, you know, Macintosh, who says that? Uh, on their Mac uh, working as well, as a lot of people are having troubles because you have to do a separate things and set up as an other application. Uh, however, it's really great that Steam is already a supported application. So I'll show you that soon. So let's skip this, we've got it working already. Now I already installed Steam, but I'll go through the process uh, with you guys. So you, what you wanna do is hit install a Windows application. Uh, what you can do, I'll just briefly talk about if you do have other applications uh, that you already have, you can actually go select installer and then select the, you know, from a file or folder uh, if you wanna install a separate application. But Steam is a supported software and we'll click that. As you can see as well, let me just get rid of that. Um, the many other um, you know games here and other applications as well which is supported uh, to you know with crossover which is also really great so hit steam hit that and then it will automatically set up a download installer it actually links to steam itself and gets the updated version of that anyway steam's updates it by itself once you've installed but I like to go through it uh, usually you would have to set up a new bottler for that um, with that I just named it Steam as you can see some of the times that I've tried uh, and that's just because then you have you know separate bottles for different applications like here's for World of War Planes and you know so forth if you are installing other applications as well. Uh, once you go that hit install and it'll go through the process of installing Steam. Like any other application you do have to go through the process as well um, you know next next yes yes install and you know along the way we go. Now, since I already installed Steam, it's going to check for updates as always. Um, you know, usually when you boot up Steam again. Uh, if you are opening this up again, you just have to go to this menu here and click on Steam, and it'll just you know open up. Okay, there we go. So we've I've just 
installed Steam. Now that doesn't matter, that doesn't mean that we actually got um, Lego World working. It just means that we've just got Steam working on our Mac. Given that, don't like be very careful when installing other games here from Steam, just because you don't want to be purchasing something not knowing that it would actually work on your Mac as well. Because it is going through a bottle. You know, it's not going to use the full resources of your computer sometimes. Um, so you do want to be careful when doing that. Some games will work. Um, some games won't like you know if you are installing Battlefield or something like that or Witcher 3 like it's definitely not gonna work uh, or even if it does it's it's a bit pointless you know downloading all of that and then you know just to play by chance as well uh, Lego World doesn't use much uh, resources on your computer uh, to get it working now I've already downloaded that so what you want to do though previously uh, if you once you get it going just head over to Lego well, it's over there, it's $14.95, 15 bucks. not too bad um, price for early access game. Uh, for something like this anyways. Uh, it's single player though, I really wish it was multiplayer. Or hopefully when the full game comes out, it will be multiplayer. And then you just want to go and, you know, there's a purchase button usually around here somewhere. Uh, so once you do that, install it, download it, what you have to do with it, and then click play. And then we'll just, just wait till that happens. There we go, cool. I was quite happy when I first like installed. I was like, yeah, you know, it worked. Uh, I I had a I had a good feeling that it would work, but I also had that little one like, percent that like, oh, what if it like it doesn't? Okay, so here we are. If we can find my mouse, works in full screen now. First off, when you do start this application, if you are using it on an iMac or a MacBook, it would usually constrain the resolution to about 720p. Um, so I highly recommend going... Sorry, my mouse is very sensitive. Oh. <laughs> going over the settings, and then after then going under video settings, yeah. And then setting the uh, resolution to a bit, you know, higher. Um, just because it looks a bit odd. Um, especially because the you know the Macs have a really crazy resolution, you want to be utilizing that as well. Now, as you can see, I actually reduced my texture quality to uh, low. Now, I really wish they had like medium or something like that, um, really low and high, um, just because uh, I was having a bit of lag on here. Let me just reduce this volume. I was having a bit of lag on uh, or with this game on my computer and I reckon that's because I'm actually using a 2010 like two I'm, I really just meet the um, you know minimum requirements to run this game on my iMac and that's because I am running an old iMac but given that it actually does work um, I have you know high expectations for the guys out there who are probably running your Macs than me that it would actually work. Now, as you can see here, I've actually reduced all these uh, to low as well, but let's put these to about, I would say, actually we can put these low. If we go back to video settings, let's let's bump that up to high again. We'll see how it goes. We can always change that in the game as well. Okay, I think, and then we'll jump into a wall. Now, believe it or not, even though people are saying this is sort of like, you know, a copy of Minecraft or something like that, which sort of is, um, LEGO actually had a game similar to this way before Minecraft, and it wasn't sort of like in an open world like this. It was in an open world, but it was sort of in a town, really, and you can build stuff, you can walk around and do everything. Um, so, as you can see here, uh, now, even though I... Is that water? Oh, it is water. I can't even tell because the textures are so low. <laughs> Um, but it's it's running quite smooth. Ah, um, oh, these are shadows. That's why it's like that. Okay, so that's how you get Legos Worlds working on your Mac without installing Boot Camp, which is also another great way to install applications. However, you do have to dual boot it into like a PC mode. So essentially, you are just running it as a PC, which would work a lot more better and seamlessly. However, if you don't really want to dual boot it like me, uh, this is another way to get it working. Now you are going to get slightly a better 
you know, a much better uh, frame rate than me uh, because probably one, you are running a better Mac than me. And also you're not recording your screen at the same time as well, which is limiting obviously the resources on my computer. Uh, if you are running it somehow into Elgato or something, because everything processes through the Elgato, it probably would run a lot smoother as well. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps this video a lot. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.